Good morning, friends. I am gonna take you on a smaller grocery haul today, but before I do, I wanted to chat a little bit about budgets and where my grocery budget and grocery spending has been for the last few months and the direction that I'm heading with that. So we have been in our house for about four and a half months now, and so my grocery budget and grocery spending has been all over the place. I haven't been sticking to anything too specifically, of course, when we were in the middle of moving, we weren't buying things in bulk and we were just, you know, surviving. And so when we did finally get in here, there was a lot of extra buying that I needed to do to get kind of a stock built up. And I feel like I've done that and we're in a really good place. And so I'm ready to jump back into trying to keep things a little more organized and track things a little bit better. And kind of naturally what I've been falling into as I've been shopping the last couple of months is that I will do my big Costco haul, which is the only kind of haul I've really been showing you recently. I do that once a month and it's been coming out to about $400, which is a lot, but I used to go to Costco a lot more often, sometimes even weekly when we were living so close to a Costco. And now that we live a little bit farther away and we have a second refrigerator, that we can you know put extra storage into i can buy more at a time so it works out well to just go once a month and i've been spending around 400 dollars. and then beyond that i will check ads at safeway fred meyer those are the two places mainly that i shop and i'm able to find some really really good deals if you shop the ads they actually do have some really great deals so if you're just on top of it you can you can actually save a lot of money if you you know, can control yourself when you go in and not just buy everything you see, but just go in and buy the things that are on sale each week and whatever you know staples that you normally need. Uh, you can actually save a lot of money by just shopping those deals. And like Safeway, they have um, quite often, they'll have a $10 off a $50 purchase coupon, which they have this week, which is why I'm going there today. And just things like that, if you just kind of pay attention and plan your trip out a little bit, uh, before you go, you can actually save quite a bit of money. So I've been ending up going shopping to either Safeway or Fred Meyer, or some weeks I will go to Safeway and Fred Meyer and go pick up the stuff that's on sale at Safeway and then go over to Fred Meyer and pick up what's on sale there. And for those of you that don't know, um, Fred Meyer is our local Kroger type store. So I've been going to either of those stores or both of those stores about once a week and I'll spend about $100 uh, each time. So that's putting me at about $800 a month that I'm spending on groceries and actually the grocery budget that we're wanting to work with that we had before and that I'm trying to implement again is $900 a month grocery budget. We used to split it up $600 for food and $300 for non-food items, um, including like if I need to buy the kids some socks or whatever, but it just ended up making more sense to combine that and just do a $900 total budget. So if I'm doing $400 at Costco and $100 each week at another store, that puts me at 800 and usually the other 100 gets eaten up, you know, at with little purchases or sometimes I'll order things through Amazon. I don't order a lot through Amazon as far as household stuff and grocery stuff, but every once in a while uh, it'll be the best deal. So that $100 is kind of like a buffer and it usually just gets eaten up along the way. So that's where we're at with the grocery budget. I haven't really tracked the numbers um, throughout July. Today is July 30th, so the month is almost over. I'm gonna make one more trip here in July to Safeway because they have some good deals and that coupon, like I mentioned, the $10 off a $50 purchase. And so I'm gonna stock up on the few things that we need. I'm thinking I'll probably spend around $100. And then starting next month, I'm gonna try to do a better job of tracking the numbers throughout the month and trying to stay at or below that $900 benchmark. And for some of you guys, that $900 might seem like a lot for a monthly grocery budget, and I would love to be able to get it down lower, uh, but we have eight people living in our house, and we do still live in the Portland area, Portland, Oregon area, which um, there's, it's a high cost of living, and groceries just keep getting more and more expensive. So I'm looking forward to finding more ways as we settle in more to uh, save money. Like for example, we went blueberry picking um, this past week, and it was a local farm that 
sold blueberries for a dollar a pound if you you picked them there were no spray blueberries just beautiful <laughs> wonderful blueberries and so we picked 50 pounds of blueberries and i have i think over 30 pounds of blueberries in the freezer right now so i'm hoping to find more ways like that um over the months to stock up on things make things ourselves and just keep the grocery budget as low as possible but for us 900 dollars is not easy to stick to but it is doable so that's what we're going for right now all right, now I'm gonna bring you guys along to Safeway for our smaller weekly grocery haul, and I am going to bring Talia and Levi as my two helpers today. Uh, which hat did you want? Um, maybe. You have your blue hat and your orange hat. Here's... I don't have my blue hat. Not the orange one? Yeah. Where is the blue hat? In, in, in here. Okay. Oh, Poe, you're not coming with us. Uh, it's not hanging up here. Levi, we just missed it. Look, it was stuck in Daddy's hat. You want it? Yeah. Okay. How silly. It fit right inside Dad's hat. We couldn't even see it. It was in Dad's hat in there. It was. All right, you ready? You look ready. When Renee heard that we were going to go to the library too, she decided she had to come. So I've got three helpers today. You want to carry my bag? Thanks. We're going to go this way. No, no cars, no cars? No cars. We're good. I'll hold my hand. Can I put the bag in? Yeah, let's go in here and I'll put you in the seat. Yoda. Baby Yoda. All right, strawberries are on sale. We definitely don't need blueberries. But strawberries are on sale, so we Yoda. can grab... These are... They're a little bit... You can grab another pack. Find one that looks nice. This one looks pretty good, I think. All right, watermelon was on sale, too. For 29 cents a pound. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Oh, it's these watermelons. Can you pick, can you pick a watermelon? Let's get it. Levi, do you like watermelon? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Bell like, peppers. Like a green pepper. Do you want to get this big one instead? Yes. All right, you got to put that one back. I think you found a bigger one in this section. Hey, don't touch, please. There's also like one person watermelons. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, those are heavy watermelons. This milk down here is on sale today. On Fridays they have some good sales, so let's yeah, get. I was gonna say hi to these famous kids. Got some discounted items here. A few things that look good. Oh, this looks kind of good. My husband loves Earl Grey. And Numi is a great brand. I'll grab one of those for him. These beans are a good price. 75 cents for a pound. This was five dollars for eight pounds. 5.25 for eight pounds. I'll just get one of these. That's a good deal. I think that's everything that looks good over here. I already have some of this at home, but I'll grab some more because they have a long expiration date. Happy birthday! It said happy birthday for Oh, how special! Happy birthday! Did you say happy birthday, Levi? Yes. Yeah, that's so fun to have a birthday, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Got a happy birthday. Yeah, they said happy birthday to somebody. I wonder whose birthday it is. Ooh. Can we, this cart is getting super heavy. I think I was trying to make sure I spent enough because then I get, you know, the ten dollars off and all that. And I think I I think I definitely got there now. Hi, I have a but, 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 so, so happy birthday. Say happy birthday. Renee, there's bananas. 
want a banana leaf. Anything else? Um, no, they're not washed. Just pretty much just banana right now. Here you go, my love. Thank you. You're welcome. So here's everything I picked up at Safeway. I was trying to make sure I got to the $50, which I easily did by the end. Uh, so I stocked up on seltzer water, something like that. It's easy to stock up on, doesn't go bad. I got two lemon and four lime. I got a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. They had the uh, watermelons. If you just bought one with the coupon, it was 29 cents a pound. So of course, Talia had to pick the biggest one she could find. 18 count eggs were on sale for $1.25 each. So that was a really good price. I probably would have gotten a couple more except that they were almost out. And so I was able to get two, which I was happy about. I got four things of cottage cheese. These were on sale also, two for $5. On Fridays, they at Safeway they have $5 Fridays. And so there's often deals that are somewhere around $5. So these were two for $5. These were four for $5. And uh, let's see the peppers, they were five for $5. So they have some extra special deals on Fridays. So I try to go on Fridays if I can. So I got six bell peppers, um, two of each color. Uh, the milk, the organic gallon of whole milk, um, they were on sale for $5. That was another $5 Friday deal. So I got two of those. So nice having a second fridge downstairs so that I can buy stuff like that. Um, not, I didn't used to be able to do that kind of thing. I got uh, one thing of half and half and one thing of organic heavy cream. These have a really long expiration date. So I've been stocking up on these and um, keeping them in the downstairs fridge. And that's been really nice. And I, so I already had some in the downstairs fridge, but I just grabbed one of each just to top that off. Strawberries were on sale, so I got two packs of those. Got a couple bunches of bananas because the kids can't live without those. And then at the reduced section, I found a few goodies. This looked interesting. My husband loves tea and he loves Earl Grey. And I know New Me is a really good brand. So these were $3.25 um, after the 50% discount. We'll give those a try and see how they are. And then they had this big 10 pound bag, no, eight pound eight pound bag of black beans and it came to 525 so that's less than a dollar a pound which is a pretty good deal for black beans so the total that i spent was 70 what was it 75 64. thanks for shopping with us and if you have any good tips about saving money on groceries these days please leave them down in the comments below it's a challenge with prices rising it's always a challenge feeding a ton of kids and a huge household but even more so when prices are rising. So definitely would love to hear any tips. Hope you guys are all doing great. I'll see you in the next video.